Hi guys, here's a quick one. I just wanted to, this is primarily for Ghosty67. He was saying uh, he sometimes has difficulty in getting control over the audio when he's doing gameplay, balancing his voiceover over the game. And I just wanted to demonstrate um, a method I use to get more granular control over that. This is a track I wrote a few years ago, so it's copyright free. There's no issue there. I'm just using that to demonstrate the fact that there's two separate audio streams. If I be quiet for a second, you can see that we've got a microphone input and the desktop audio. So I can get rid of that now. You're, most of you are probably aware that in OBS, you can now I've pulled them in separately this way. I've created these devices because I don't like doing it this way. I don't like setting my sources here because I think you can lose control over it, over it quite quickly doing it that way. This way I, I've got more control because I have s implicitly selected the devices. Anyway, the, the point is if you right click here and go advanced properties, you get this dialogue coming up. And it gives you the ability to separate your tracks. And this is really useful. This is where you get fine grained control over your audio. So desktop audio goes to track one, the microphone goes to track two, and then I recombine them on track three. And this is a disposable track, but it's really useful for monitoring before you go into video editing mode. And I'll, I'll show you that now. If I open up one of my previous gameplay videos, this one, for example, if I open that up in VLC, there's the game. And if I select audio track two, gaming season. that's me. And we're going to be playing a little game called Valley I picked up on Steam. If I go back, there's the game audio. So in this particular video, there's two separate audio channels. And what I would do, I open Audacity, load that video into Audacity. And it's asking me which channel do I want? If I expand that, you can see channel one, channel two. I'm going to select both of them and let that load in. So it'll take a second. There we go. Now we've got both tracks in. Now I can see that that one is a little bit loud. So I'm going to normalize that track. I'm going to take that down to minus 3 dB. That's only because this, this is peak. No, that's a little bit too much. I think minus maybe one or two would have been good for that. Let's do that again. Let's say minus one. There we go. That will do. And on my audio, my voice audio, I'm going to do that to minus two. There we go, so that's boosted that a little bit. So if I play that now. Hey guys, here we are in our GNU Linux gaming season. See, you can hear the voices quite clear over the top of that. Let's find another section where I'm actually speaking. Energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrita can be. There we go, let's try another bit. Yeah, I read about that. Leaf suits are very heavy equipped by living things, rich in energy, such as a tree or animal. There we go. So there's a quick example of what I do is I quickly track through, find some loud elements where my vocal and the game together, you know, are fairly loud together. Get up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't. And I can still hear that. That's clear. So what I would do next, I'll mute that one. Come to export, and I'd expect export as WAV. I want to call that one voice. Export that. And this is directly out of the video. You can see I've got the video loaded here. I won't be saving this. This is just to extract the audio so that I can put separate layers in the video editor when I get to the editing stage and okay 
you might think, well, that's a lot of work just to get a video rendered, but I think the benefits outweigh the little extra effort that, you know, you have to put in. And, and you'll see. So there we go. We've got the audio separated now. So if I open open shot, for example, and let's import that video. Actually, I'll make sure that I've set the project right, otherwise that's going to sound awful. You see, OpenShot's not picking up the voice track there, it's only seeing track one. So some video editors will let you separate the audio. And you can separate audio here. You can go multiple clips on each channel, or single clip all channels, but it doesn't work that way with OpenShot. It will not see track two or three. It will only see track one. Or as far as I can tell, as far as I've worked out, I can't get it to do what I've done on Audacity by separating the audio that way. So on this clip, I go to right click on it. You can either do this little drop down here, or you can right click, choose volume, entire clip, level zero. And now there's no audio. That's just a little glitch at the beginning. No audio coming through. Let's do that again. There you go, there's nothing, no audio. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to import those files. I've just saved out of Audacity. So we've got the game audio. And we've got the voiceover. Now, this is going to chug a little bit because I'm recording at the same time. So this may not sound very good, but it will just show you. Hey guys, here we are in our GNU Linux gaming season. There you go. And you can hear that my voiceover is very clear over the, against the game. And you, as you can see, because I saved out as WAV PCM, they are exactly the same length. They match the video exactly. So then you could, you know, on track two or three, if you wanted to put titles on or anything like that, because this is layer based, it's, it goes, it's bottom up, the same as GIMP, the same as Photoshop, it's layer based. So whatever happens here will pop on top of the video here. So there you go. There's a quick example of how I get more control over my audio. And it's purely by electing to separate your audio tracks at record time. Obviously, you have to record like this. Otherwise, you can't manipulate the audio like this. If, they're, if everything's sat on track one, that's it, you're stuffed, and that's game over. Well, however that records is, however that records, you'll have a, you know, good luck trying to separate them if they're both here. At least this way, you have complete control. As I showed you in VLC, you can switch between tracks and you can isolate each track. So hopefully that's helpful. If you know, if you know of a better way of doing it, please enlighten me. I'm all ears. I'm open to learning. Um, this just happens to be the way I I do it. My primary tool of choice is DaVinci Resolve. Um, they offer a free version for Linux, Windows and Mac. Under Windows, there is no problem with anything. You just drag and drop your video in. It changes the project to suit your video. And as soon as you drop the video on the, the timeline, you can see all of the audio tracks, track one, two and three, so obviously in DaVinci, I would isolate track three or delete it. It's no problem. That leaves me track one and two. And the audio manipulation tools in DaVinci Resolve are amazing. In the Fairlight section, you've got graphic equalization. You've got limiter, compressor, all sorts of wonderful things where you can take real granular control over the audio. But this is, you know, my primary goal is to use as much open source software as I can. And so... You know, Audacity to separate and OpenShot to render. I have used OpenShot to render some of these Valley gameplay videos I've done. Um, but I do prefer DaVinci. Okay, it's proprietary, but it's an amazing piece of software. But there you go. There's a quick insight into that workflow. It works very well for me. Or it is now. Now I've got it down. And hopefully you will find it useful too. So, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.